Hi everyone, I recently tried Replit design which makes beautiful pages with just a prompt and those pages can be turned into a website. For those who don't know, Replit is a platform where you can build any website and ship it. You just need to have an idea, write it in the form of prompt and then you click on build. You don't need to install anything, you don't need to set up any environment, you just directly build. And Replit design is an extension of it. Let's say you want to build a habit tracker, you just know that oh, I want something which tracks my gym, which tracks my water intake, book reading, etc. And you give this rough prompt to Replit Design and it will show you how the website or the tracker looks like. And then you can see, oh, this looks amazing, but maybe this can be better. So that's what Replit Design does for you. And once you're satisfied with design, you can turn it into a full website and make it functional. And not just this, on the same platform, there is an option to publish. When you click on publish, it generates an UI which you can even share with your friends and anyone can open it. So let me show you how you can use Replit Design. Okay, so now you can see my screen. I will type replit.com, go to login. And now here we are on the page. So I just opened replit.com. You can see there are two options. One is app, another is design. We are going to test design today. So design is like the first step. Once you're satisfied, you click on building the app. So let's say I want to create an app which tracks my habits, be it uh, going for a walk, reading book, or uh, going to gym, etc. So I will say, build an app which tracks my daily habits of going to gym, water intake, meditation, 5 a.m., wake up, reading book, and talk to one friend and I will press start as you can see it has started working on it now while it is being done I will show you how you can choose a certain domain name and how you can even publish it okay so basically I'll click on the search button I will go to publishing so now it says habit sync Nandini 45 I want to change the name I want to I want to say it habit tracker for friends so I've chosen this I will just click on publish and then it would be published okay so the work is done let's see what is being made you can see daily flow Tuesday December 24 today's progress water intake eight glasses daily goal I can okay I can press on it and it increases I can mark it as done gym workout done meditation done read book is remaining talk to a friend is also remaining this is quite good so now let's say I want to make a dashboard where I also track my friends habits so I'll just ask make a dashboard or a window where I can invite friends and we can track each other's habits. So as you can see, there is this uh, icon where you can see group of people. I click on this and you can see three active friends, weekly leader, group goal, meditation, everyone completed today. And then we can see who is doing what, 85%, 92%, 78%. And there is an option to invite friend as well. So, okay, I, I like this. Now, let's say if I like this entire thing, I can ask it to build an app for me. So, I will say this looks good. Turn it into an app. Okay, so it says the app is done. And... I can see the dashboard here. I can keep marking things. Let me see if the URL also works. Okay, so the URL also works. Yes, you can see this was the domain which Replit created for me. I didn't buy any domain name right now, but I just got a unique URL which I can use. And I can even share it with my friends. They will also see the exact same page. Let me show you how you can even buy the domain. So there's an option to buy a new domain. You go to domains 
as you can see there are different options i can choose habitsync.net habitsync.studio habitsync.pro let's say i want to go with habitsync.org i click on this and i have to fill this information so so you can see i don't need to go to godaddy i don't need to go to namecheap i can do all of this here right on repeat just on one platform so once i fill all these details i would be able to buy the domain okay so that was about one idea let me show you the another one so i'll go back to home and i will write something else which i want to build so next thing i want to build is let's make a game i want to build a game which has a, which has an office setting and i need to spot my boss and click on it to get the maximum points keep it office setting and make it aggressive now let's start i'm so excited to see what it would build okay so the game is done it worked for 1 minute to build this game which is actually very good let's test the game uh it's called boss hunt and and click on get to work okay deadline is 20 28 seconds i need to click on it productivity 100 200 300 400 500 700 this is quite good but i feel the game is a bit slow like anyone can get these points based on the speed that person has maybe i would want to make this game even faster so my final score is 2100 so someone can play it as a fun thing in their office while they are pissed off with their boxes so i'll just tell it can you increase the speed of the game like two faces at a time and next two faces very fast so i'm just writing a very simple prompt i haven't written like four or five lines of prompt so anyone can do that so you don't need to put in so much effort to write the prompt let's see what it does okay it is done it took 36 seconds to do that you click on get to work this is done this is done this is done oh ho okay this is fast this is this is good now this requires speed you can actually compete with your colleague on this game and this is so much fun now you can see the background of this game is too much files and a workstation behind it so it makes it very real you can even ask it okay now it says promoted the final score 4460 so yeah you can even make it multiplayer game you can just ask it to add a functionality where i can play it with a friend and compete on this game and similarly you can publish it you can deploy it now let me show you something very cool which i built okay so this is called dress like wow so i am a big fan of emily in paris and i built this with site which is basically a stylish fashion website where you tell your body type your mood where you are going and it and it suggests you an outfit based on your mood and the entire theme of paris so it it has a strong parisian editorial aesthetic vibe so i gave this prompt i took chat gpt's help to build this prompt because i wanted to be very specific around the color the fonts the layout so i gave this prompt and uh, it took 2 minutes to build this and let's see what it built so completely paris vibes so there is an option to log in so i am already log in i click on start styling click on get style they'll ask me what's on the agenda today cherry and i'll click on power meeting the vibe is main character energy confidence level is fake it till i make it what is the sky doing it's it's a windy season there Okay it suggest me silk camisole or deep V body suit leather mini skirt stappy stilettos statement earrings and plush now the advice that it is giving right now it might not be completely correct because it is more on the design aspect so you would need to switch to build to app feature to convert it like to a proper authentic and reliable app but you can see it looks nice and i'll click on see how you would look and it shows me okay this is how 
I will look if I follow this advice. So that's that's one thing I did. Then let me show you what else I made. Okay, so I wanted to build a website which is like a go-to guide for any fresher who is going to start his corporate journey. So I just asked it, build a website for corporate startup kit which can which has info on what to wear, what kind of bags to carry, corporate slangs because slangs are the most difficult and funny part because everyone is talking about them but freshers don't understand what those words mean. So I just wanted to have a go-to guide. Uh, then it worked for two minutes. So generally you will notice that it takes around two minutes to build something, to build a design and it just made this. Start the guide, you go to here. Then there are three options. One is business professional, which is around dre dressing. So it says suit should be tailored, shoes must watch your belt leather, conservative ties, iron shirts, business casual, chinos or wool trousers instead of suit pants, button downs, and then casual Friday as well. Dark wash jeans, polos or nice t-shirts, and so on. It has tools of the trade like what kind of bag to carry, what should be the color, notebook, tech things you should carry, real pen, hydration station which is a clean water bottle and digital hygiene which is you should clean your desktop, organize files and so on. And you know no one really teaches these things on you while you join a company. I've been through this so I know this and I really wish some, someone would have told me all of this in detail before I joined any company. And then you have corporate dictionary. So you can simply search. Let's say someone uh, said that I'll circle back with you. So just type that word and you will see. Then you have low hanging fruit. This is used a lot. Like this is used for the tasks which are very low effort but can actually drive a good ROI. So you say that it's a low hanging fruit. Let's do it. Bandwidth. Like you don't have the capacity to work on it. So you call it bandwidth. Sync up. I'll touch base with you. Let's deep dive into it. That's the deliverable. I'll just take a bio break. Don't boil the ocean. All of the words which you might be needing on your first day. And then some other rules which it did. Like arrive five minutes early, bring a notebook and pen. And as you can see, like, please do is in the green color, red for the don'ts and the golden rule. Like the way it is being made, it it is really aesthetic and it has a good design. And there are quotes which it has added and I didn't give any quote to this website. It says, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. Wow. And since I had already published this website, I'll just copy. I will just paste the URL here and see. You can access this website. I'll share this link with you in the description. You can try opening this website, go through it and see what you liked, what you didn't like, what you need to work upon and all of that. Now let me show you the last idea which I had in my mind which was around building a personal knowledge management dashboard. It has, it should have these features which is quick notes section, task list, saved links and resources, design style should be clean, notion inspired UI and all of that. And I took ChatGPT's help to make this prompt. So basically I decide on the basis of the details I want. If I want something in very detail, very specific about the colors and the theme I want to use, I would ask ChatGPT to make a prompt which I can use and then I will paste the detail prompt here. I click on start. It has started working on it now. And the interesting part is it also names the website based on its own knowledge. Like it's calling Clarity Canvas. Okay, so this is done and uh, it took one minute to create this. As you can see, the interface is really Notion inspired. It's so clean and aesthetic. I can write something. Let's say I have a thought today that people are just living for themselves. And we need to be grateful for what we have. That's my thought. It's auto saving. Then I can add a resource that I want to read in future. Sometimes, you know, you have podcasts that you want to watch, but you didn't get time to and then you forget. Okay, I wanted to watch this. You can just simply add here and refer later. Daily reflection, you can just write one thing. What is one thing that you learned today? Maybe I can write, I learned replay design today. That's it. I can add task and even cut them based on the real status. 
let's say I wanted to prepare for Tuesday meeting, it's done and now it would be striked off. I can even add a new task. Now what happens is when this website is in design phase, some of the buttons might not work. So for example, if I click on settings, it will not work because it's a design currently, it's not an app. So let's ask it to turn it into an app. I will say I like the design and let's say I want to add some motion to it. Can you add motion effect or maybe I would call it animation to the website, then proceed to build it, make it functional. All buttons should work. And uh, you know, you can even add the login functionality here. So let's say you publish it as a website and you have a friend who also wants to use it. So he or she can create his own login ID and once he logins, he can see his entire dashboard. So if you want to make it commercialized, you can even do that and add the sign-in functionality. And there are two ways to do that. You can use Replit sign-in functionality and the Google sign-in functionality as well. And you can just ask Replit to build that functionality for you and it will be done. Okay, so now it is in the build mode and you can see this settings button is working now. There are two options. One is a dark mode and another is a clear data. But I wanted to add authentication functionality here. So I have asked it to build a sign-in functionality and see it is done. Once you type your email, let's say I type this and I type my password. I will enter to my workspace and now I can start adding things. And there's an option to sign out as well, dark mode, clear data, and you can add things here. Let's say if I click on sign out, I'm signed out. So I did that in, in 49 seconds. So yeah, that's about Replit design. We discussed how to build a design, how to convert it into an app, how to publish it, how to deploy it. I will add the link and you can access this. You can buy a domain on this. And once you are satisfied with the design, just convert it into an app. So I find it really cool. And if you want to try this out, you can use my referral code, which is in the description for getting $10 worth free credits. So start building now and let me know what beautiful designs you end up creating. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.